Carpe Seuss, it's Sunday. We're headed down to Bosque County, Texas. Got a call that the uh, hogs are back in the oats. So we're gonna see if we can go down and take care of a few of them tonight. All right, here we go. Here's the oats field and way back in the distance where the arrows indicate is a second field where I'll be doing a lot of hunting as well tonight. About the time that I get this video taken, I put down the phone, picked up my thermal scope, took a look out into the field in front of me, and there are hogs there. So while it's still daylight, I make my stalk down. There's several hogs, most of which are behind this high grass here, but these are the hogs that can probably see me, so they're going to be my concern. I dropped the first hog. And I make a series of shots on this big boar. They all hit and he goes down. I marked the hogs with my firefly lights. Went back and got my Minnesota hog dragger. Got the hogs dragged together. Got their pictures. The small one was 230 pounds and the large one was 260 pounds. As soon as I got back to the truck I started scanning again with my Armasite Zeus that you'll see hung around my neck in some of the pictures. Now you can see the hog there. And I've gotten closer at this point. There's more hogs and you can see a house off to the right. So that's not a safe shooting direction. But I saw one hog moving off to the left. I followed him around. He was by himself and I figured this was a one shot deal since I wasn't sure about the back stop behind him. I never heard the impact. He took off running. I kept an eye on him. And he finally went down. He turned out to be a nice 190 pound boar. I exchanged some texts with the landowner, got a great message back. Great going. We can get them with the tractor tomorrow. That was music to my ears. So here I'm back at the truck. Once again, down in that field again, there's a hog. So I take off after it. When I get down there, there are actually several hogs. The only problem is there's a house back behind them. Out of those hogs, these three are possibles for shooting. There's nothing directly behind them. I get closer. I figure it's a one-shot deal once again, unless something runs to the left. I'm clear to the left. I drop the first hog. One does run to the left. He goes down with the second shot. Now he's making a lot of noise at this point and it's been my experience that when they make a lot of noise like this there's a good chance they're going to try to get back up. So I wait for him. Comes up and I put him down for good. So here I'm taking a picture with the first hog. It's a 180 pound boar. When I hear something moving around me I get out my rifle. Sure enough, there's a hog creeping up behind me. And then at about 70 yards away right here, I put her down. She also turned out to be about a 180 pound sow. I got back over to take pictures of the boar that ran. He came in at 190 pounds. No sooner had I gotten back to the truck when I spied hogs in the oats field again. I came around a big tree to get lined up on this hog, get a little closer shot at it. Here it's moving away. I try lip squeaking to get it to turn and look at me. And to my surprise, he does turn. This first shot connected. And I don't think any of the rest of the shots did connect. And he disappeared behind one of the terraces. Obviously wounded. I walked back around the big tree to the truck, looked out into the field, and there are still more hogs out in the field. I had to make sure that they weren't deer, however, so I needed to get a good solid look at one of the hogs, make sure it was a hog. This one high up on the top shows me a good broadside. So I shoot him, he takes off. I look for these guys for about 45 minutes, no luck. And that's where the hunt ended for the evening.
Carpe Seuss, my friends.